This video is for Nick. Uh, this is your monitor lift pump you bought off me. I just want to make a quick video to demonstrate its operation. It's a monitor 1103. See the model number. See housing on it. See right on it. Marked for indoor use. Bottom, you've got this right. Uh, well, I can't use my hands at the same time. This brass pump cover, inlet, outlet, drain, and an overflow line here on the side. Typically mounted on the wall, indoors. <coughs> um, says on it for kerosene use only, so I hope that's your, your plan. It's a pretty neat little device. You can see I got it plugged into the bench, and the top housing is off. So right here, we've got a primer fill. Um, obviously a motor and a control circuitry with the power cord coming in on the side. I haven't really pulled this cover back, but if you flip this sucker on, as you can see the pump running right there, based on this float switch, and it's pretty neat. If you go down to the bottom, the motor cut, well, it's still winding down, but if you go down to the bottom, the motor shuts off. Come up to here, it kicks on. Go up too high, it shuts off. Well, not too high, but you go up to the fill level, it shuts down. If you go higher, it shuts down for sure, and the emergency light comes on. My thinking is that this is a pretty clever setup. <clears throat> My thinking is that if uh, if the bowl drains out, it stops running. Let me reset that. Turn that back on. It stops running because the machine probably presumes that you have a a leak on the outlet line if you're sucking down, draining out the bowl that fast. You come up into this range, it's running, pumping. If there's a leak, it's going to piss out. It's going to shut the motor down so it doesn't continue to pump. It's going to run until you fill up to your normal position. If for some reason it's overfilling, it shuts off and throws you that emergency light. This little stem here is an extension, much like a distributor jobby. It drives the pump right there, and that's pretty much all there is to it. it should be hunky dory. Um, hopefully, it uh, gets some use with you, and if you got any problems, let me know. And, uh, I'm sure we can make it right. And, uh, you know, on behalf of the Belbin household, I just want to say thanks for your service, and I hope to uh, meet up with you someday soon. Take care.